G'day. Today's video is a bit of a rant regarding the release of annual products. Well, annual phones and computers needs to die. Currently in 2023, spare parts are becoming rarer and harder to get for existing models, be it the Samsung Galaxy A series, S series, Note series, basically anything Samsung has either become a lot rarer to get because they're harder to manufacture or less getting manufactured, which in turn increases e-waste. Granted on the Apple front, since there's so few models released annually, there are more parts generally available, but they are all becoming more and more serialized. So a screen, a battery, a charging port, a front sensor flex are all becoming serialized, cameras are becoming serialized, and they're paired to the phone. So usually you can expect either a software flag saying that a part has been changed, or you will see a decreased performance on certain components depending if they have been changed. You'll lose face ID if you swap over a screen on an iPhone 12, and batteries won't read the true capacity or the overall battery health if you swap it with an aftermarket battery on an iPhone. But my rant's not really about iPhones at this current point in time. It's more about the, the annual release of phones needs to change. Currently, there's not enough parts out there. I find that there's too many models of the A series. So for example, this here is my current collection of A-series screens, and that is not even half of what is out there. There's considerably more than what I've got out there in the A-series. It's just a, either A, a struggle to have them all, B, I don't require to have them all, as in my region, there are more popular models than other models. But thinking of it, Apple releases, ten, or Apple A-series releases, which I'll focus on, which are the more popular ones sold in my region, They'll have the Samsung Galaxy A1 or AX1, AX2, AX3, all the way up to about seven. And in that, there's so there's usually seven major models. They've now been out now for four years. So there's now 21 different models of previous models that I usually have to stock. And the sad thing is, the difference between some of these is very, very minute. It may be that one's got a slightly higher resolution camera or a slightly higher resolution screen, or the chipset is 10% faster, or one contains NFC and one doesn't. There needs to be a consolidation of this and more focused products and a, a less release of those products. For example, I know Apple tends to only release three to five phone models a year, and with those, if you want the cheaper version, you buy last year's model. That, personally, I wasn't a fan of at launch, but if you're someone that only buys a new iPhone every five years, you're probably gonna buy the latest. If you're someone that upgrades yearly, who wants to be on top of everything, you're also gonna upgrade yearly. But if you're someone that, up, that needs a budget iPhone and they're upgrading from an iPhone 6, they're probably gonna buy an iPhone 11. Granted, it's already a few years old now, but it's gonna save that iPhone 11 from going off to e-waste where I'm seeing more and more phones now in the A-series that I can't get the parts for. It might be a three, $400 phone when it came out. It's still worth, to buy the equivalent of it, it's still about three to $400. And they're perfectly happy with the phone. But I purely can't get the parts for some of these budget phones anymore. Or uh, one of them I've been waiting for now has been, I think it was a Samsung Galaxy A53 or A52. And I've been waiting for that part now for five weeks. My supplier that gets genuine Samsung screens has been unable to acquire stock of that model. So right now that person's stuck without a good mid-range phone because the part's not available. So either A, they replace that phone and spend 500 to 600 to 700 dollars and then essentially goodbye to a perfectly or was perfectly repairable mid-range Samsung Galaxy phone which is now due to destined for e-waste which is absolutely crazy. The, all these companies push e uh, be, be environmentally friendly, so on and so forth. They're the ones that are helping speed up the waste. I don't see the need to have seven, nine different, or seven to nine different models of phone. And of that, there's only really three major differences between all of them. One might be the top of the line, which are best camera, best, best battery, best SOC, or system of a chip, CPU and the mid-range and then the low range where some of the differences between the low range ones is one's got a slightly higher resolution screen which if the the cpu is underperforming it's not going to power that screen anyway 
So I'm seeing it more frequently in phones more so than laptops. Laptops people tend to hold for a bit longer and in turn there doesn't need to be a constant shift or change to have the latest chip. For example, I'm still seeing laptops coming out now with 11th gen Intel chips. They're now up to 13th gen, all of which are still perfectly adequate at doing what most people want to do. Where if you bought, if someone came out and said, oh, I bought the new Samsung Galaxy, let's say S21, it'd be, oh, that's a two-year-old phone. Why are you getting that? Which that should not be the mentality. It should just be, oh, cool, you got a new phone, enjoy it. So I just find it crazy that the companies that are saying to recycle, to be environmentally friendly, tend to be the ones that are producing the majority of it. Be it phone, phone manufacturers, car manufacturers, probably the biggest one I see is, let's say, Coca-Cola. The amount of bottles you see of them getting produced, they say they're recycling the bottles. God knows what they're doing. They tell you to recycle it. You put it in the recycle bin, it gets dumped in the ground. It's a problem that's much bigger than an individual can fix. It's something that needs to be fixed at probably almost a government level to then enforce laws to make these companies actually be environmentally friendly. Anyway, as an individual repairer, I do see that the death of the buy or yearly product, it needs to turn into a buy yearly product. Increase your software support, build a better processor in there at the beginning so that your device will last longer and you can support that software a lot longer or at least a few more, a couple more years longer than you originally intended. That will do for today and I'll see you later. Bye.